My name is Tyler. I'm a Volkswagen Audi product specialist here at ECS Tuning, and this is my Mark IV Jetta, the 2.0 liter five speed. Uh, I sold my previous daily, which was a Mark VI TDI, uh, to get a different project car. So it wound me up with no daily. This popped up from a friend in PA, uh, and I couldn't refuse the offer. I got it off of him for two grand at a time when I really just needed something to drive. So when I first got the car, I drove it about two and a half hours home. Thing was about to shake itself apart. Uh, so when I got it home, first up was normal maintenance, uh, things that, you know, were neglected or getting ready to break. So I've done basically the complete front suspension on it, tie rods, ball joints, axles. I've also upgraded the spindles to GTI spindles. Uh, so we get a little bit bigger brakes in the front as well. The car came with some broken headlights that weren't all that great. So it actually came with these headlights. These are some Euro projectors that I got in the package with buying the car. It also came with some GLI Recaros on it, some awful stickers on the side, and a full exhaust from the cat back. I did not get the headliner in the deal. It was too much of a pain to drive with it on my head the entire two and a half hours home. So I decided to leave that in PA and we're running with airbags and metal as a, as a headliner. My definition of a winter beater is something that you can take to the grocery store, not mind if someone pushes their cart into it, door dings you, uh, you don't care where you park, how much you drive it, and if salt gets on it, especially here in Ohio, that's something that every car owner and car enthusiast hates, is having to clean salt off your car. It rusts, it creates issues later down the line, and to me, this is the ultimate winner beater. It's the forever reliable, get me from point A to point B, and still be able to drive what I love uh, in having Volkswagens. My least favorite thing about the car right now is probably the steering issue. Uh, I'm dealing with a bad pressure switch and when I turn the car on, it doesn't want to uh, engage the power steering for a little bit. Uh, but other than that, there's not much to hate. My favorite part about the car is being a two point slow motor with a five speed. You can feel like a race car driver wherever you go and never break any laws with speed limits. I have not checked the oil in this car since I bought it about six months ago. I don't plan on doing any oil changes and I shouldn't have to worry about it. Two O's are, in my opinion, the most reliable Volkswagen motor. This car will live its days out as the forever winter beater and daily for all of my other project cars for the next foreseeable future. As I hope with the 2 and it being a Mark IV, we shouldn't have any issues as far as reliability.